Hi everybody, this is Derek with Tedler Garden Center and I have Melissa behind the camera. Say hi. Hey guys. All right, today we're gonna do a video about repotting. I'm gonna tell you how, why, and when, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So it'll be very simple. I've got a peperomia plant for the video, just in case you're wondering. I wanted to see, a lot of people are probably gonna ask what kind it is. Let me see, there is no tag. Okay. Oh wait, obtusifolia variegated uh -huh. is the species on that one. And then I have the pot that I picked out is a clay pot that's kind of like traditional cream white, and I've got a nice little saucer here too. And then some fertilizer, which I'll talk about as I'm doing it. So let's talk about why you replant. And a lot of the reason why that is is pretty simple. It's just that the plant has outgrown the pot. And sometimes I've noticed that people now often repot sometimes a little more sooner than they kind of need to. A plant can grow all the roots can be all the way grown into the soil and I'll just pop this out because I don't know how to explain it without showing you even this could probably get away with for another five months mm -hmm. I would say before it needs to be repotted that's actually not too root bound it may look like it is a lot of people just kind of feel a little bit bad when they see the roots all tight like that but for most house plants it's not going to hurt them to be a little bit pot bound and a lot of them actually kind of prefer it too mm -hmm. especially some of the blooming ones so that's why we transplant though is w really the signs to tell are if it's drying out really fast like a week and well it's by and it's already dry again or you pour water in it's going out immediately that's another sign or the pot starts to deform because the roots are growing so big it actually makes the pot oval i've seen that a couple times or if you see roots <laughs> coming out the holes or the bottom of the pot yeah that's another way too so those are all signs through pots that's why as far as when the standard answer is springtime is the best time and I suppose summer too but I've actually repotted at all times of the year and I've been okay with it I don't know what your feelings are on that Melissa for yeah, when you repot I have too I usually <laughs> I have so many plants that ah, I can't do them all at once but I do start usually like February March for me and that kind of goes all the way into yeah. the summer depending and on the plant. I've done November and January yeah. too it's just it's not as big of a deal, but the best time is the springtime. Yes. And not when it's blooming, I would say, would be the two big ones. Yeah. Uh, so I think I'm just going to go right into showing you how it's done, because I think that's all I, the info part I had for it. So the pot size, oh, I guess I could talk about that. This is a four-inch pot, and I'm going into a six-inch pot. You never want to put, especially a succulent or some other plant that doesn't like a lot of water, in too big of a pot, because it's going to be sitting in pot in, too much pot in soil. That's too wet for too long. So what is too big? What's too much? Only an inch or two inches at most? Two inches at most. So again, this is a four inch, so we're doing a six inch here. I probably wouldn't do like an eight inch or 10 inch or anything. That's just gonna be too big for most plants, unless it's a very vigorous plant. I'm trying to think of one. Maybe Wandering Dude would be one that would be okay with it, but in general, try to stick with a size or two only, and that's about it. Okay. So I'm gonna take some of our potting soil here, and this is just a regular potting mix. There's nothing special about it. It's okay. just like anything you would get off of the shelf. And I'm gonna put about half full like that because I wanna see where it's gonna line up to when I get this done. So I'm gonna pull the plant out of the pot. And I do like to roughen up the roots a bit, just like this pretty simple and don't be afraid about breaking some of the roots it's actually very good for the plant a lot of people that come for some of our classes are worried about that and yeah. I know some of you at home would be too but it'll be fine so it's not quite where I want the root ball to be so I'm just going to put a little bit more soil in there and I'm aiming for the edge of the root ball or the top of it to be about a half an inch to an inch below the lip so you have a little place for that water to catch right when you're yes watering, if you go too soil. high it will overspread the top and you'll have to just like teacup water in there or it'll just keep overflowing every two seconds. No good. No, it's not fun to do that. So I'm making sure it's in the middle and propped up and I'm just kind of taking my finger and tucking it in around it. Like this. So Do you add any of the osmocote in there while you're doing that too? A lot of times I'll put it on the very top at the okay. end, but I've also seen people put it a little closer to the root zone where the fertilizer is actually needed. The good news is about the the fertilizer, which this is what we're talking about, just in case. This is a slow release fertilizer I'm going to put on. It it there's the there's the packaging right there if you want to know how where to look for. Um, it activates as you water it. So whether it's on top or at the bottom, it will still work. So 
it's just a good product to like put in when you're planting and gives it that little extra long turn. Yes, I really like to use it, especially when I'm transplanting something, because if I don't remember to fertilize it right away, I've kind of got a backup. Okay. And it can be used on a lot of different stuff, inside and outside. So flowers, yep, annuals, veggies, annuals. Yep, there's some for vegetables, want. yes. Okay. So that's kind of my repot right there. Make sure it looks all pretty for the camera. And a saucer, just in case the water goes out. Um, that's pretty much all I had for planting. D anything else I should add? No, I think just tell people if they have questions, how can they reach you? You can reach us on Facebook, Instagram. You can Facebook message us. You can call us, stop out by. There's lots of different ways to reach us. Sounds great. All right, I'm going to end this one here. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya. Bye.